Hello SPCians! Today's experiment is all about the qualitative test for carbohydrates. In this experiment, a qualitative test for carbohydrates will be done to determine whether the carbohydrate is a simple sugar, an oligosaccharide, or a polysaccharide. The experiment discussed in this video is provided as a resource for SPC senior high school students. Please do not do this at home. These are the materials and reagents for this experiment. Hot plate Test tube rack Droppers Graduated cylinder Test tubes Beakers Erlenmeyer flasks Label tapes and markers 6N hydrochloric acid Concentrated sodium hydroxide Felling solution A and felling solution B Nylander's reagent Barfoid's reagent Sullivanoff's reagent And the carbohydrates sucrose, glucose, galactose, fructose, lactose, and maltose We have five different tests for the qualitative test of carbohydrates. We have the Moore's test, Felling's test, Nylander's test, Barfoid's test, and the Silivanov's test. Let's start with the Moore's test. Place 1 ml of carbohydrate solution in each test tube. Since we have six different carbohydrate solution, we need six test tubes for each test. Use the graduated cylinder to measure small volumes. And make sure to label your test tubes using the label tapes and markers. Add 10 drops of concentrated sodium hydroxide to each test tube. Mix and boil using the hot plate. Note the change in color produced. This test is based on the liberation of aldehydes which subsequently polymerizes to form a resinous substance, caramel.
Next is the fillings test. Add 1 ml of filling solution A and filling solution B in equal parts to each test tube containing the carbohydrate solution. Boil the mixture for 5 minutes. Observe the color change. Next is the Nylanders test. In this test, we follow the same procedure as the Fellings test. But instead of adding Fellings solution, we add 1 ml of Nylanders reagent. Boil the mixture for 5 minutes. Observe what happened to each of the carbohydrate solution.
Next is the Barfoids test. Mix 1 ml of Barfoids reagent with 1 ml each of the carbohydrate solution. Heat for 30 seconds and allow to stand for 10 minutes. Add 5 drops of 6N hydrochloric acid to each test tube and heat again for 5 minutes. Observe the changes in each tube. And the last is the Silivanov's test. Place 1 ml of the Silivanov's reagent to each of the 6 test tubes. Add 1 ml of the carbohydrate solution. Boil using the hot plate. Note carefully the color produced and record the time required for the development of pink color in each test tubes.
And that's it. Thank you for watching and see you on our next experiment.